Okay, let's talk about the STAR Algebra 1 exam. And if you're watching this video, I assume you are a high school student in the state of Texas and you are preparing to take the STAR Algebra 1 exam. And uh, if you didn't know what STAR uh, stood for, it's the State of Texas Assessments of Academic Readiness exam. So if you kind of been going to school most of your uh, life in Texas, you have been uh, taking uh, the STAR exams along the way. So they're very, very important um, to your advancement and uh, to your record. Uh, and I don't know exactly how it affects uh, your graduation requirements, but uh, it's a very, very important exam. So uh, by virtue of you watching this uh, video, okay, you're obviously taking uh, this exam seriously. So what we're going to be doing here is be t uh, take a look at a, a practice problem that you should be able to handle hopefully uh, relatively easily if uh, you're fully prepared for the STAR Algebra 1 exam. But before we get to that, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over uh, several years, I've constructed many online math courses to include a STAR Algebra 1 math prep course. Very, very comprehensive. I'm going to leave the link to that in the description of this video. That's something you want to check out. But let's get to our problem here. And uh, let me go ahead and just uh, tell you what I'd like you to find. Okay, so clearly we have some uh, information here. We have a sketch of a line on the XY plane. And this line, okay, has a slope of 2, and it goes to the point 2, 5. So what I'd like you to do is to find the equation of this line. Find the equation of this line, and I'd like you to write that in slope-intercept form, or y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so if you uh, think you know how to do this problem, uh, I would suggest you just pause the video, go ahead and do it. Uh, for those of you that need a bit of a hint, I'm going to give you a hint. If you don't want to hear the hint, go ahead and pause the video and do the problem. If you need a little bit of a hint, I'm going to give you a hint now, and then of course I'm going to solve the problem, then we'll wrap this video up. Okay, so here comes the hint. All right, so um, here, okay, we have uh, a line, and uh, we have the slope and a point that goes to the line. With this information, you can find the equation of a line, and typically, now we like to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, or y equals mx plus b form. Okay, there's our, there are other forms of, of lines that uh, we like, like standard form, etc. But this is probably the most common way to write uh, linear equations. Okay, so here, okay, you can use this formula, because here comes your hint. You can use this formula to actually solve this problem, or you can use this formula. Okay, and this is the one I'm actually going to be using. So I'm not going to give you too much more of a hint other than what I just gave you here until I solve this. So these are the two formulas you can use to uh, find the equation of this line. I'm going to use this formula, okay? Now, one last final hint, okay? This is a slope-intercept form equation or form, and this is the point-slope uh, uh, form, okay, or formula, all right? So this is a really, really good... Uh, formula to be able to uh, figure out the equation of a line. So let's go ahead and do this now. Okay, so what we uh, with any formula, you have to understand what the variables stand for. So here we have y1, m, and x1. So these guys, this x1, or sorry, this y1, the m, and the x1 are where we're going to plug in values. Now the y1 and x1 come from a point that is on the line. So here we have 2, 5. The 2 would be our x1, or x sub 1, and the 5 would be our y sub 1. Okay, so for y, we're going to go ahead and replace this y1 with 5, okay, because that's the y coordinate. And then m, let's go ahead and address that now. m is the slope of the line, okay? So the slope of the line is given to us as 2, so we'll plug that in. And then we're going to put x minus the other x, uh, the coordinate, x coordinate of the point that's on the line, and that was 2. Okay, so once we've done that, all we have to do now is to clean this up by using some 
algebraic magic. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and apply the distributive property over here. Let's go ahead and do that now. So this would be y minus 5 is equal to 2x minus 4. And now I simply just need to go ahead and add 5 to both sides of the equation. And I get y is equal to 2x plus 1. And there you go. That is the final equation. That's the answer. So if you got that right, that's excellent. But let's go ahead and just uh, give ourselves a reality check, okay? So when we have a line, okay, in uh, slope-intercept form, the coefficient of the x is the slope. So our, we were given that the slope is 2, and in fact here the slope is 2. Now what does this value mean? Okay, it's the plus b. Okay, here it's 1. Well, that is indicating the um, uh, y-intercept. It's the location on the y-axis that the line uh, intercepts uh, or crosses through the y-axis, and that happens to be 1. Okay, so that's what that indicates there. So uh, knowing how to graph lines and knowing how to find the equation of, equations of lines or linear equations, as they're called, um, is a huge part of Algebra 1. But there's much, much, much more involved, obviously, in Algebra 1, quadratic equations, radical equations, rational equations, um, on and on and on, right? So it's a huge course, extremely important course. But um, if you're able to get this problem right, uh, and you maybe you just use this formula, hey, you got it right, so I'll give you credit. If you uh, struggled with it or couldn't get it right, don't panic. Just use this problem as feedback. But certainly, if you're fully prepared for the STAR uh, Algebra 1 exam, you should have been able to, you know, you should have been able to ace this question because this is kind of fundamental Algebra 1 stuff here. So let's go and wrap up this video. Um, so again, um, I always like to stress in these videos uh, when I wrap them up is always take full advantage of what your teacher is telling you. As you prepare for the Star Algebra 1, listen to your teacher. Uh, they're going to be the most informed, most up-to-date, okay? So, uh, you know, as a teacher myself, it's like, hey, you know, you're trying to communicate with your students, but if your students are looking for um, help out, outside the classroom too much, then they're not getting the most direct information. So, one, always fully take advantage of the materials and guidance from your teacher. But if you do need supplemental material, and oftentimes that's a good thing, like tutoring or, or whatnot, a course like my Star Algebra 1 prep course, um, you know, can really, really benefit you, okay? All my courses have taken me years to build, uh, extremely comprehensive. Again, I'm going to leave the link to that in the description uh, of this video, so you can check that out if you like. If you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, I've been on YouTube for, at the time of this video, for a good 12 years. I already have hundreds of videos on my channel that can help you out with the Star Algebra 1, uh, and hopefully consider subscribing because I'm posting new stuff all the time that can help you. If you like this video, definitely appreciate it. a thumbs up, and leave me some feedback. Um, how did you like Algebra 1? You know, this year, uh, could have been a little bit different because uh, with uh, the lockdowns and distance learning and having people, you know, having to learn math online and whatnot, I know it's been difficult for a lot of you, but, you know, um, the key now is, hey, listen, get on track, okay? Algebra 1 is such a critical course. All your other math courses in high school, geometry, algebra 2, etc., are going to really be built off of... Uh, Algebra 1. So if you struggled with it, you know, for whatever reason, you know, uh, if you especially if you have a summer break coming up here, do what you can to strengthen and review and kind of, you know, fill in the gaps because you don't want to start your next math courses, uh, you know, being weak in Algebra 1 because you're going to run into uh, problems, okay? So just a little heads up there and hopefully you trust what I'm saying because uh, been doing this for several several years and i'm just trying to pass on the best information to you but with that being said i definitely wish you all the best on the star algebra one exam and all your other uh academic uh adventures and thank you for your time and have a great day